We have a cool warning for yeah. the video. <laughs> awesome warning. For those of you with a weak stomach, sorry about that. It got pretty gory right out of the gate. But this can be a reality for hoofstock species of all kinds. They get what is called an abscess in their hoof, and it can get pretty gruesome. This is treatable though, so let's catch up with Dr. Julie and the rest of our vet staff to find out more about this procedure. When we're treating an abscess like this, the first thing we have to do is get the abscess itself under control. So that means we need to dig out any tissue that is infected, um, any tissue that's necrotic or has a poor blood supply. So once it starts bleeding, that's actually a really good sign because that means now you have healthy vascular tissue or a healthy tissue bed there. Once that healthy tissue bed is there, then her immune system will be able to help with the infection that's there. And then we'll treat that area with local antibiotics like the limb perfusion that we did on her today. We'll also pack the wound with different types of material depending on what stage we're at in the healing process. Then we're gonna wrap that foot with a bandage. And the main reason we're doing that bandage is just to keep anything from the outside environment getting into those tissues that are still very sensitive. So twice a week at least, we'll immobilize her again and change the bandage to put a new one on it to check and see the progression of the wound and how it's healing. She's looking much, much better. So she still has a little trouble placing the front foot appropriately when she walks, but she seems to be improving quite a bit. And the uh, hind limb is also improving. 